try. The Aussie women's sevens team were honoured guests and a morning tea to celebrate their World Series championship triumph. Yeah, it was something really special, greeted with obviously balloons and the, the new sign out the back here, which is something pretty special. So, yeah, we're greeted by all the people at AAU and media outlets, um, congratulating us on the win and, you know, just thankful that the AAU has given us the support and decided to centralise our program because without their support, we simply wouldn't be rugby players and we wouldn't be able to live the lifestyle we do and travel and play good footy. So it was very nice to be welcomed by lots of Aussie supporters and everyone cheering us on, which is nice. The tight-knit squad making the most of the opportunity to celebrate the win together. Yeah, I think that we've had the same group of girls for this whole couple, of, like the whole period. It's been awesome. So we've been able to build our combinations and really get to know each other on and off the field. And I think the bond that we have off the field definitely shows in the way that we play and the way that we work so well together. So yeah, I think it's definitely been a great couple of years. Although the tournament in Clermont left mixed feelings in the squad, much can be learned from the experience. It was a bit bittersweet winning the series but not actually winning that tournament and um, yeah, our girls never like losing so it was a bit disappointing and um, but yeah, I think it was a massive reality check, like anyone can knock anyone off on their day so we've still got things to work on and I think that's a good thing going into Rio, not settling on what we had but keeping everything moving and getting better. To get better, head coach Tim Walsh has a jam-packed schedule in place to get the girls firing in Rio. Um, yeah, we just have um, preparation with games against Japan and also um, a training camp in Darwin. And it's just um, fixing up those things, the little one percenters that um, you know we can, we can get better. We have improvements to be made after that cup final in our defence. And um, yeah, just um, preparing uh, emotionally as well, dealing with the pressure, of course, and yeah, just getting all those um, little things right. And Walsh has a special pre-match message for the barnstorming green machine. He always says to me before I run on, he said, you're either going to run around them or you're going to run through them. <laughs>